Welcome to Jaguar Land Rover Backseat Chat. Our guest today is a prime example of the new breed of entrepreneur developing in Bahrain and the Gulf region. He is an accomplished HR specialist, social media personality and a professional baker who combines his talents and abilities for the benefits of his clients as well as his adoring fans. Mahmoud Junahi, let's go for a drive. Mahmoud Janahi, welcome to Backseat Chat. Hi, thanks for having me. Yours is quite a fascinating story. You're in the human resources yes. industry and you transitioned into becoming a baker. Yes. How, how did that happen? I started baking when I was eight. Um, that happened um, by accident. I mean, I was very naughty as a child and my grandmother would try to contain all my energy by giving me a cake mix and asking me to read the ingredients and do it with my cousins. So it wasn't actually a punishment? No, 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 it was that passion started there. When was it that you finally realized that you were actually good at well, what you did in the kitchen? Well, again, um, after finishing school, uh, I moved into Australia. So I studied there for four years. You know, the people I was with found out that I could bake or cook as well. So I said, okay, fine, I'm gonna bake you a cheesecake. Uh, they, they tried it and they really, really liked it. So they're like, when you go back to Bahrain, you should consider opening a business. And I was like, yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm just doing this for fun. So when I finished and came back to Bahrain uh, and I worked in the bank, uh, you know, every time there was an occasion in the bank or every time I baked something at home uh, for people to try, they would say, okay, we really like this. Do you sell this? And I'm like, no. So a friend of mine who worked with me at that time uh, said, why don't I create a menu for you? I forwarded it to a few people. So within like, Three hours exactly, I got a first phone call for um, for the first order. It kind of started from there and I, it was a huge learning curve. So and how long is it since your first order? Um, I started in 2008 officially, so now it's 2015. So. And now do you employ staff as well? I, I, have, to, I have someone to help me at home, uh, but again, it's solely done by me because uh, the brand is Mahmoud Janahi Cakes. So, what, what you what you get is something from me with my name on it, so it has to have my touch and my hand. Buddy Valestro. Yes. Some some huge honcho in the cake world. Could you tell us a little about your meeting with him? Buddy was visiting Bahrain a while back, and I received a phone call requesting for like a couple of cakes for somebody, and the person insisted. She was like, "This is for someone important. Can you please take the order?" So I I'm like, you know what? fine, I'm going to deliver it to you and let's see what happens. So when I walked into my surprise, it was actually the cake boss. That's what he's called. You know, I was ecstatic. You know, I wasn't believing what I was seeing. Uh, so I, I, you know, had a few words and, uh, and I just left. And the next day I got really good uh, feedback. How important is innovation in your your business it's very important I mean if you follow me on Instagram you'll notice most of the things that I do are very innovative I try to do a cake that resembles a, a certain cultural background but with my touch with it with my twist so that again is what I feel differentiates me well all I can say is a fascinating discussion thank you so much thank indeed. you very much thank you for having much me. more of you thank you